Hello everybody, welcome back to Terraria. I have been going for a little bit, not too far, um, a little bit past the tree. Well, a few hundred blocks past the tree. Actually pretty far. Not as far as this way, but still, pretty far. And uh, I just got my first glimpse of what is probably our very first Sky Island. You can tell from the rain clouds, <laughs> pretty much. Um, I am going to make a safety platform. Just so we don't go plummeting to our deaths too quickly. And also, we're going to continue this onward. Past this island, I think. Yeah, there's some clouds. Yeah! Yeah! Alright, cool. So. Let's get our butts up there. Um, I thought they couldn't spawn that high. But I could be... Eh, I guess I'm wrong. Well, I'm clearly wrong. <laughs> I mean, there's no like, I guess. I mean, I am wrong. The best part is there's more dirt up here, so I can keep on going. But see, I'm technically in space. And I guess you can spawn clouds in space, which is weird. We actually got the space music. But here we go. Nice dirt island. Nice sky house. It's got special blocks. Uh, they used to be made out of solid gold bricks. But now they have their own, um... Their own material. I don't know exactly what it is. And their own, like, stylish doors and furnitures and banners and... I just want the chest. What's in the chest? We got a spiky shiny red balloon and increases your jump height. That's pretty cool. And we got bombs and nothing else. Alright. Well, this sky island sucks. But at least we found one. And you all know now that I'm not crazy. <laughs> so they do exist. We can actually uh, harvest these um, actual clouds. I don't know what they do. Uh, I can take him to the guide. It's good to th take things to the guide before you end up killing him. Uh, when you do summon the Wall of Flesh, you kill your guide. <laughs> so you don't have him anymore. And I'm getting my butt kicked, so I'm gonna eat some potions. Space gun. Yeah, headshot. 420. But anyway, um, I'm gonna keep... I'm gonna go back to my home. See what the clouds do. And then... We might do something else, because uh, that was kind of a bust. I mean, we will. C I will continue to look for Sky Islands, but maybe not on camera. Um, let's see here. We can make cloud walls with clouds. So they're useless, so let's put those away. <laughs> let's get rid of those. We don't need those. I'm only down to 67 wo or, uh, dirt. So uh, actually continuing that Sky Bridge would require me to uh, continue... Oh, there's my freaking fishing pole. I'm dumb. Eh. I need to make a storage room. Yes. Let's make a storage room. Where should we put the storage room? Because we have this big open area. Um, and this is the big hole I made when I was harvesting dirt. I could make a storage area just like right here? Maybe? If I dig... Oh! If I dig... <laughs> Actually... If I dig right here, can I reach the chests? No. What if I go down one? No. Oh, yeah, I can. That's pretty convenient. Okay, so if I make this my, like, hold on here. This might be a little dumb. Actually, it is probably dumb. I'm going to have to actually engineer this whole thing out, aren't I? Um, I can open... I can open this one. I can't open them anymore. Oh, come on. What? I'm not in range anymore? Man! Maybe if I have the extendo grip. Hold on, let's see. Yes! Alright, so if I have the extendo grip, this works. But that's not going to be convenient for when I don't have it. Because I'm going to switch out my gear eventually. But, man, that extender grip's pretty good. I can open the thing all the way over here. Um, let's quick stack that. And... Yeah, I don't know. I need to collect more chests. So I could... I was thinking about making, like, a ball... Like a... <laughs> I'm thinking about making a, uh, a platform here and stick a bunch of chests in it so I can just wander beneath and just open the chest through the wall. Or just have like a platform maybe, like platforms like this, but closer down. And just put all my chests right there, so whenever I need anything, I just come to one spot. 
Uh, I might also... I don't know. That means I have to empty everything. I mean, you're not even to use the chest right now. You're just garbage. Um, I'm going to keep... Let's see here. What is this stuff? This is my building stuff. We'll uh, loot all. Get rid of that. It's good to do this now, I think. Just because it's going to get just worse and worse and worse. Um, I kind of want to keep all my fishing stuff with my fishermen. Where does my fishermen live? Ah! Uh, housing. The angler? Where does the angler live? Oh, that's his room? Okay, cool. We're just going to put a chest in his room to denote that that is fishing stuff. We're going to open this, and we're going to rename it. Fishing stuff. Fantastic. Alright, and then all of our fishing stuff, which is, for some reason, huh, all in here. And I did miss the net. I saw that. Uh, bass, shrimp. I actually don't know if that's bait or not. That's bait. That's actually not bait. I don't know if that is. So I'm going to throw that away. That is bait. Bait. That's something I caught. These are things I caught. So let's just keep those two. That's a trout. We got some more bait. We got some more bait. And I don't know if I need a squirrel. Probably gotta just... It's consumable. Can't actually consume it. Uh, let's just hold on to that. I'm gonna put the zombie banner here because I can get rid of it. Uh, living wood wall. Uh, you're kind of, sp I guess, your special item. I don't really need you. Here's more bait. Any more bait? Bait. And nope, pitch and pull. Okay, should be everything. Down. Get the rest of the stuff. Get my net. All right, so this is now useless. Fantastic. Okay, so special stuff. Uh, I do not need Evanstone blocks. I do. I. I don't even have a guide voodoo doll, do I? If I use this voodoo doll. My, he will die. So I'm not going to do that right away. Here's my new fishing pole. You got to put that away as well. And da, 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 these are both the same. We can get rid of that. Iron pickaxe. Screw you. Sickle. Allows a collection of hay from grass. I didn't know that was a thing. Vile thorn. That's a thing. Javelin. Don't need you so much. But I don't know. You're very slow, very slow. These are even slower. I don't need you. Oh, there's a lot of stuff. Ball of Hurt sucks compared to the Blue Moon, so we're gonna keep the Blue Moon and get rid of the Ball of Hurt, I think. Uh, nasty Handgun. Ruthless Aqua Scepter. We have all these statues we still gotta use. Man, we have a lot of stuff that we're just not using. Um, quick stack of this. Yeah, I have to sort all this out. I'm not going to do all that right now, but we kind of started a little bit. Um, I will build that thingy. Actually, why am I even doing that? Because I can just put all the chests right here. Won't that work? Let me see if that works. Because if, if I have all of my chests here, right, can I actually reach my crafting stuff? No. Hmm. Hmm. But if I put my chests up here, I'm down here. If I have the extended grip, oh, I can't reach that. I have to stand on the anvil to reach it. But if I stand here, I can grab all the stuff I need. Man, this is hard. Um, we're actually going to take this back. We're going to empty out this. And... Do I need my platinum bow? I want... Ugh. I want my water candle. Can I just put the water candle down and have it not summon a thousand enemies? That'd be nice. I don't think it works that way. Yeah, whatever. Um, so we have this emptied. So what I want to do is take down this whole thing and move it down a step. That's kind of the goal here. And there's way too much stuff in there for me even even begin to think about doing that. So, let's start hacking this up. 
Let's see if we can actually place these, like, where I want to place them. Uh, what do I have here that I do not actually need? Exmo... Eh, I want my bombs. Mushroom. Yeah, I don't need mushroom. Screw mushrooms. Okay, so seven. If I can actually place it... No. I want to place a down one. Ah! It won't actually let me do that. Huh. Well, there's another thing we can do. We can build it beneath here, so then they'll be in contact of all the crafting things. And then I don't need the extended grip. So let's try that. So first I have to clear all this out. I have to pick up my bricks. Which is fine. Those are the ones I just placed there just, just to be silly. Let's get our dirt out. And once again, what do I not need here? Oh, my rope. I can consolidate my rope. Fantastic. And maybe we'll use this for accent lighting anyway. So, dirt can go back here. If I had more stone bricks, which I, I might actually have somewhere, I'd use those. But I don't care enough. I mean, if I had them in my inventory right now, I would. But anyway, so, we're going to fill in this one. So now we can't walk there. But, the chests... Ah! The chests should be able to be placed there. They should be anyway. Yeah. Yeah. All right. And uh, let's put a gold one. I guess, whatever. So now we can stand by the crafting stuff and have our access to all of our chests. More of our chests even. That's actually pretty good. I still don't know what to do with the uh, advanced workbench thingy. And I have this freaking couch here that I don't need. I'm gonna put the soap upstairs. But yeah, we're making steps towards better organization, and that's good. I'll probably do the rest of that off camera. The reason I'm doing it while I'm recording is because I'm actually waiting for the goblin invasion, which has not actually come yet. So, we need to go to hell. That's kind of a thing we have to do. Um, I need to get a guide voodoo doll. Or just make this our random materials thing. Let me just put this stuff away, and we'll continue. Alright, so, we need to go to hell. We need to find a voodoo doll for the guide. And that will help us summon the, uh, the wall of flesh. And to do that, we're gonna need this, actually. Yeah. Anyway, to do that, we need to find a demon that's actually holding one in his claws. And I think that's the only way to get one. Uh, they might actually be in chests in hell as well. Do I have... No, I don't have a shadow key. But that's okay. I think you can find those in the dungeon. Which means I should probably go back to the dungeon at some point. And we might. But I really just want to get the wall of flesh summoned. To kill him. Oh, hi! Still glad that we drained all that water down here so I can actually walk on things. It would have been nicer to get a flying item from that sky island, but can't always be so lucky. So we want these guys to spawn. And sometimes they'll actually hold the uh the voodoo doll in their claws. And he doesn't have one. Let's actually plug this up because it's annoying. There we go. Annoyance averted. And yeah, I really want to open this chest, but I don't have the key. Oh, how about you come at me? And I did start a bridge over here, but didn't really go anywhere with it. That's mostly, you need to make a platform when you fight the Wall of Flesh, because he starts on one side of the screen in hell, and he moves across the screen. So you need to have a nice long platform, because he doesn't go very slowly. <laughs> and he has a lot of health. 
Um, I need to drain you to that pit. Hopefully there's enough room down there. Eh, maybe not. Maybe it's better just to... Ugh. I don't know. Maybe it's better just to uh, cut this open and just deal with that incline. Because it gets kind of squeezed here. Like, it's not a very easy... This won't be a very easy area to fight him in. Because it'll be so tight, I probably won't even be able to hit his freaking eye. Um, let's go. Oh, there, and there, and there. There we go. Ugh, there we go. Maybe I can just make this an easier path. So, yeah, the best way to navigate hell is to uh, safely get to an area and then make it easier later when you have to come back. Because you will die at some point. I'm not saying I'm going to die. But most of the time you die. So we actually don't need this whole platform here. There we go. Nah, it's fine. We don't really need that stuff. Anyway. Die bats. Don't want to get hit into the lava. That would be bad. There we go. There's all these houses with stuff in them, but they're under the lava. And we want to make sure that if we do kill a demon, one of these demon guys who have the voodoo doll, that we don't kill him above the lava, because that throwing the voodoo doll into the lava is what summons the damn wall of flesh. So if you do it accidentally, that sucks. So if you're not prepared, you're just going to get wasted. And I actually don't know how the heck we're going to get down there. I mean, I can do some weird underground digging. Unless I know there's something good in there, I probably will skip him. Hi! And after being in the dungeon, this place is a like, hell of a lot easier. I mean, I'm almost dead. But... All things considered, there's a way less enemies constantly trying to kill me. So maybe we just, uh... Wait for the right demon to come along and give us our items that we need. It'd be nice to have the... I forget, I think it's Crimson Armor. We didn't spawn a Crimson World, we spawned a Corrupted World. So we can't actually get the item that's cool. But it's an armor set that constantly heals you, and it's actually really good. So that's kind of a bummer. Ugh, ugh. I do have another character in another world who's kind of actually at the same spot in the game. Um, I made that before I even started recording. Maybe I'll take his Crimson Armor, just to have it. I don't know if that's cheating or not. It's probably cheating. But I have a lot of the equivalent. Like, I have a, I have a crap ton of demon stone or whatever. And that's... You don't get demon stone in the crimson world. You get crimson stone, which makes the crimson armor. And there's no demonite in that world. So, I mean, I'm at the same spot in the game. If this was a crimson world, I'd have that. That'd be something I'd build right away. So, I don't know if it's cheating. I don't think it is. I don't know. Because the cool thing about Terraria is that your characters are independent of the world that they're spawned in. Like, I can bring this character into my other game anytime I want, basically. Oh, jeez. I'm gonna die. I'm dead. <laughs> I think the meteorite armor, if I remember right, is way better than the hellstone armor. Could be misremembering, though. I'll, I'll check on that when I get back up. But we want to keep our flow going here thinking. Just go up steppy style. There we go. And make a platform so we don't die there. And open the door. That door's blocked. Can't even open that door. So we're just going to cut through this wall, I guess. There we go. And we already had a hell forge, so that's not really useful to us. And we'll heal, and we'll keep on going, shall we? 
We're not actually seeing a whole lot of demons. I need more demons for this to work. Oh, this whole trip will be ruined. It's good to know we can use ash as a building block. Ash is hell dirt, basically. Gosh, stop killing me. Thank you. It would have been nice. Well, I mean, hmm. There's a heart there. There he is! I need one of those. Put him away. Don't drop him in lava. We got a cascade. Yeah, we got the voodoo doll. Okay. Uh, we're probably gonna burn to death now. Because I can't heal and I'm burning. Heal. Got two seconds. There we go. Uh, can I hide and not die? That'd be good. Because I kind of want to keep going. I don't want to just fail right here. Can I? Aha. I have buckets of lava now. Lava and water buckets. Let's head back. Getting set on fire is really annoying. Alright, so Ash. I want to get to that other tower before we're done. If for nothing else, it's a cool painting. It's, seriously though, the fire ramps are the worst. Whoever created those. Which is probably the same guy who created everything. Or at least the team. I'm not gonna hate. I like a majority of things you made. Those fire imps. Kind of hate them. They're kind of cancer. Um, let's see. Stone. What we're gonna do is harvest some of this stuff. Just because we can. Hellbat. Constant annoyance from hellbats. Constant harassment. From the flying, burning rodents. Alright, what we're gonna do is just jump. And jump. And jump. There we go. And I'll just come away through here. Because why not? Let's see what's all in these. Anything good? Got some bombs. Got a bunch of bombs. Hellfire arrows are really good. Bats are really annoying. Yeah. Excellent. 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 Um, I still don't see anything very useful. I want that painting. Like I said, I'm not the decorative type, but when it comes to, like, hellscapes, it's a pretty good hellscape. The Lake of Fire. And we got our voodoo, voodoo doll, or guide, bleh, can't talk. Guide voodoo doll. So we pretty much accomplished our mission here. Um, what we need to do now, though, is stay here for an extended period of time with a bunch of materials and just make our arena. And um, I don't really feel like doing that in this episode anymore because that's even more building, and more building's boring. So let's actually kind of... Oh, wow. We've actually been going for a while. Holy crap. Um, I will see you next time um, in hell. Um, I'm actually going to zip back home and uh, continue to reorganize everything. And when we come back, everything should be more organized and I'll be more prepared to go deep below into the bowels of hell, basically. Um, what I really don't like is that whenever we're down there, there's a lot of towers in the way and we can't get a good arena like runoff for the wall of flesh. So we might actually have to wait until we get a better weapon to even kill the thing. But we'll see. And we will see later, and I'll see you later. So thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you next time.